Hello guys, my name is Sergey. I am a free diving instructor trainer and today we're going to start a series of videos uh, to refresh your free diving theory. Uh, I done a lot of free diving theory videos before, but it was usually uh, just uh, videos about some topics uh, without connection with the previous one. And so for from today is going to be a series of maybe around 10 videos when I'm going to try to discuss all free diving theory with you going in a logic sequences from the topics uh, from the really simple topics up to the more complicated topics so it's going to be the same what i usually do when let's say i have a master free diver student usually before we start the master theory we discuss all the theory from the previous levels or let's say when i teach free diving instructor course uh, before we start like before we like learning any advanced training before we learning any advanced theory we discussing all the theory from the level one level two and level three and this is what i'm planning to do in, uh, to do it with you so i'm planning to discuss all the theory from free diving courses let's say start from level one and then level two and then level three okay guys and what i want to talk uh, about today is a really basic usually when i start my free diving class like first level i'm asking my students the questions when you're holding your breath and then let's say after i don't know after 20 seconds you're going to start feeling a little bit uncomfortable why this happens and quite a lot my students answering oh because my body have a low oxygen and in reality it is not correct answer the correct answer you start feeling discomfort because the level of co2 your level of co2 going up and then uh, you're going to start feeling some discomfort but it's still true that our body of course need oxygen so why our body need oxygen what do you think so our body need oxygen to produce energy not to actually produce it because it's impossible to produce energy what is possible is to change energy from uh, from one form to another and what happens in our body we have a uh, let's say chemical energy uh, as a part of like our nutrition and then we can convert this chemical energy into mechanical energy let's say uh, our muscle work and to do this job aerobically we need to use oxygen so we need to use oxygen to let's say to convert the, uh, the energy from one form to another and when we're doing this uh, we produce energy and then as a byproduct of producing energy aerobically we produce two things we produce water and we produce carbon dioxide and when carbon dioxide reach some point then you're gonna feel uncomfortable okay this is what in free diving we call arch to breathe it's pretty common term and I think any free diving instructors like most of the free diving instructors using this term but let's start discussing what we're doing even before we do the uh, we have arch to breathe so this is a, how any breath hold looks like so it doesn't matter you do a static breath hold or you do dynamic breath hold or you do apnea walking or you diving etc etc this is a, how the breath hold looks like there is a, some variations for the more like advanced students that there is a, some specific training that's when some of the parts can be missed but this is a, in general so in general we start with a step number one is a relaxation breathing for a certain amount of time uh, maybe for a couple of minutes usually it's somewhere between two or three minutes you try to breathe as slow as possible as relaxed as possible let's put it this way it's more accurate so you try to breathe as relaxed as possible uh, the feeling should be almost like a, you're ready to fall asleep okay so you slowly inhale you slowly exhale slowly inhale slow exhale don't try to artificially change your breathing patterns don't try to inhale for two seconds and exhale for seconds for six seconds or something like this this is a form of hyperventilation i discussed already the danger of hyperventilation you can find the link in the description but this is not what we do especially as a beginner free diver you don't need to think about like is it possible to use a hyperventilation or not just forget about this and do a relaxation breathing instead 
I don't think that I ever done any video about relaxation breathing so this is my fault uh, I'm gonna do it in the near future so relaxation breathing again what we're trying to achieve here are we trying to bring more oxygen by relaxation breathing mm, no why because it's impossible I done a video about oxygen transportation again the video uh, the link is going to be in the description and then you can see that in a normal condition in a normal healthy human being I mean if you're not sick then your body your blood is already have uh, almost maximum amount of oxygen which is which is it can carry right this is what we call oxygen saturation it's amount of oxygen which is connected to your hemoglobin if you're not trying to bring more oxygen so maybe we can try to remove more carbon dioxide and this is also not correct because if you remove more carbon dioxide uh, that you do like while normal breathing then this is again what we call hyperventilation and this can lead to the some uh, dangerous situation so if you're not trying to change our oxygen and if you're not trying to change carbon dioxide then what the point of the relaxation breathing for me relaxation breathing is more like a mental part it's a helping it helps me for this couple of minutes and it helps my students to get this state of mind when you completely relax when you start when you stop worry about something when you stop worry about the breath hold you just completely focus on the feeling focus on the well-being focus on how nice the sensation when you completely relax also it's not that easy to be completely relaxed you know uh, if you're not practicing any like relaxation technique then it's not that easy to even sit and be completely relaxed usually people tend to over tense uh, they tend to like over tense the muscles on the face on the neck on the shoulders etc etc we're using this time to bring ourselves in the condition of total relaxation so total relaxation enjoying uh, to be in the present moment enjoying sensation and not worry about what is going to be next okay and then you do a full big breath in and then you start holding your breath full breath in sounds really simple however most of my first level students when I'm asking them to do a full breath in they fail to do it I will show you how for example I can do full uh, full breath in so you see I try to exhale as much air as possible and then when I have my first level students and I asking them let's do a full breath in usually it looks like this so they're breathing and then <laughs> and this is a full breath in and obviously it's not the best way to inhale before your your breath hold because yes in reality the more air you're going to breathe in the more oxygen is going to be part the more oxygen is going to be in your lungs because as you remember 21 percent of uh surrounding air is oxygen so there is a few exercise how to improve your ability to do a full inhale and i think i, I done it recently uh, again the link is going to be in the description so you make a full 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 inhale then try to relax i will show you the most typical mistakes again when someone doing the breath hold for the first time and i think you can easily understand what i'm talking about so my free diver do relaxation breathing then they do big breath in and then over tense so they start to be tense because they're thinking okay they need to struggle over a certain amount of time to reach the result and this is again so much counterproductive when you make a full inhale you need to completely relax you make a full inhale and try to relax your shoulder try to relax your neck try to relax your face muscles etc etc so you're holding your breath you relax the question is what to do while you're holding your breath what to think about and um, ideally you don't want to think about anything but then it's pretty hard to do right so what i recommend for my beginner students and not only beginner students is to try to find the place of tension maybe some tension in the body and try to relax it okay this is a basic advice for let's say uh, first level students so try to find like check from the top to the bottom uh, check if your like face muscles relax check if your neck relax 
check if your shoulders relax, etc., etc. And then if they're not relaxed, then relax them. And then when you holding, uh, when you finish holding your breath, then you stop holding and you do recovery. So why we do recovery here? So we do recovery here to recover the level of oxygen. Because obviously when you're holding your breath, like I said, even if you're completely relaxed, if you don't have any motion, you still produce, or again, more accurately say, to convert quite a lot of energy, right? Like there is a many process in our organism which are using quite a lot of energy and then you need to produce it aerobically, better aerobically. And then you use this oxygen. So obviously when you finish holding your breath, you need to recover it. And this is why we call it recover, Bre recovery breathing. There is a two main technique how to do recovery breathing. The first is just breathe. So for example, if I'm gonna hold my breath for a few seconds, let's say this is a simple recovery and then there is a hook breathing. The hook means that you inhale as much as possible and then hold it for a few seconds. Uh, there is a lot of debates which technique is better. Uh, there is a lot of debates which try to prove their point that the hook breathing is better or don't do any hook breathing. But the truth is you just need to start breathing and this is a shoot be only one activity which you do after your breath hold. For example, common mistakes, uh, especially in the water. My free diver do a breath hold, then let's say she come up, and then because the free diver have a, a long hair, she start to fixing her hair, or she start removing the water from the mask, or uh, doing something else. And this is not correct. Whenever you finish your breath hold, try to get this habit. Whenever you finish your breath hold, you need to do recovery breathing. And the last thing what I wanted to talk today is the arch to breathe. So, like I said, during your breath hold, your carbon dioxide level is slowly increasing because again, you're producing energy, you're using the oxygen as a byproduct, you're producing water and carbon dioxide, and then the level of carbon dioxide is going higher and higher and higher and then the specific chemical receptors in your brain detect this high level of CO2. By the way, I haven't done the video about this, but there is an article uh, about um, chemical receptors, about the, how our respiration system is regulated, and then there is an explanation uh, why our system more uh, depends on the level of CO2, why our respiration system more depends on the level of CO2. So, and then when the level CO2 reach some point, reach some set point, then our respiratory system react and then you're going to have an arch to breathe or some people, like not some people, quite common, you can hear you have a contractions. The diver have a contractions. What does it mean contraction? Contractions mean the respiratory muscles is going to contract in an attempt to bring in the new fresh air or to remove old air up to you how to call it and again arch to breathe is not your enemy arch to breathe arch to breathe is your friend so contractions actually are your friends who reminds you that you need to start breathing at some point not immediately now but at some point okay guys this is it for today from tomorrow we're gonna start from this point from tomorrow not from tomorrow but from the next uh, session I'm gonna explain a little bit more about arch to breathe and then we move on on the next subject so guys I hope this video was helpful for you I hope you refresh some points if it was helpful don't forget to click the like button and I will see you next time